United Sporter? I don't think he is, but there we are. Now, astronomers say they've discovered an Earth-like planet that could have the conditions to support human life. It lies in the Goldilocks zone of the star it orbits, where conditions are not too hot or too cold just right for liquid water to form oceans, lakes and rivers. It's 20 light years away from Earth. If a rocket was able to travel at a tenth of the speed of light, it would take 200 years to make the journey. It takes just 37 days to orbit its sun, which means its seasons last for just a few days, and it doesn't have days or nights. It also has a rocky composition and appears to have a gravity similar to ours, which would allow a human's astronaut to walk on the surface. As Guy's Ender Brady reports. It's 20 light years away, three times the size of Earth, and astronomers believe this new planet could support the crucial conditions needed for life to exist. The significance of this discovery is that it's the first time we found a planet that has the right mass and is the right distance to have liquid water and a substantial atmosphere. People have been getting closer and closer over the last couple of years. They've been finding planets that are on the hot edge of the habitable zone and on the cold edge of the habitable zone. But finally we have one right in the middle. Many questions remain unanswered, like whether water exists on the planet or what kind of atmosphere it has. We don't know exactly what the atmosphere is composed of. I mean, if the atmosphere is pure ammonia, it might be tough. Um, if, if it's conventional gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide, that sort of thing, sure, there's every, there's every bit of reason to think that uh, life as we know it could exist there. But without knowing in detail what the atmospheric constituents are, what's the balance of nitrogen and oxygen, that sort of thing, uh, we may have to bring our own atmosphere with us. Finding a planet that could potentially support life would be a major step towards answering one of science's ultimate questions. Enda Brady, Sky News.